Hello everyone, this is Bidabomb from the Linux Teach team and today we will be creating a simple bash script to make logging into the over the wire network easier for us and we'll use SSH in the script so let's just get into it. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to go is to open up your browser or Firefox or whatever you're using on Linux and I'm just using Firefox and search on Google over the wire bandit so bandit war game is aimed at absolute beginners it will teach the basics needed to be able to play other war games and I really personally recommend it for anyone who is just getting into the field of cybersecurity or um, Linux or just want to be a system administrator and network administrator I think it's a really fun way to learn is to just solve these levels or just go through them so our goal today is to create a simple bash script that could make login easier to the network so that's our goal for today I know there are other scripting languages that we could use to make this a better script in case of automatically logging in with the password such as the language called accept but to, for today we will be only using bash scripting since it's it's really simple so let's just press on level zero to see what we need to do so our goal to connect on this bandit level is to ssh uh, into the host and we need to connect to bandit.labs.over the wire on port 2220 and the username is bandit0 and the password is bandit0 all right so it's really simple you guys so we're gonna open up a shell here and i'm just going to press control and the plus sign to make this larger for you guys to see all right um now we will begin so let's just ssh bandit zero bandit zero um at bandit dot uh, and i'll explain guys just let me type this out on p, p which represents port two 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 zero all right so let's explain this so basic ssh ssh syntax which if you type ssh into google so let's see for example what's ssh all right so ssh also known as secure shell or secure socket shell is a network protocol that gives users particularly system administrator a secure way to access computers on an over an insecure network so i'm helping you guys here because if you're i'm trying to put you guys in the situation where you don't know what a command means which you will get into a lot in the field of linux and cybersecurity. so what you could do is just type in another uh terminal here if you don't know a command you could go and type in man which stands for manual or the manual page and you just type in ssh so i don't know this command for example and that's how i learned uh, linux so you could go man ssh so it tell you open ssh remote login client and here's the syntax and everything here you go so if you don't know a command i really recommend googling the command which is like the easy easiest thing you could do or you could just open up the man page or the manual page just type in man and then the command name all right so we'll get back into this so let's get into the syntax so ssh bandit zero which is the user this is the user and then at at sign and the host you could type in a website or an ip and then dash p to specify the port and then 2220 and just let let's type enter let's try to connect all right so let's enter in bandit zero it won't show here because it's a password so we're into the machine here we go so let's just type in ls list 
read me so let's cat it out all right my internet's trash so it's slow and here's the code for level zero so that's how you play um war games exit all right so log out so we're going to create a script to make this easier on us and not have to type any of this so let's just get this and let's just copy this i'll show you why later so let's type gedit which is a text editor that i like a lot gedit uh, login dot sh was which stands for bash script all right so we will go to pound sign and then exclamation mark and then forward slash user bin and then bash you we're just declaring that this is uh, in the bash language basically all right after that we're going to type in echo which is just print a print statement in any language which displays text on the command line uh, hello and welcome to the easier easier uh, login all right and we're gonna end it we're gonna echo again please enter the user all right so we only need to do the user so I want him to enter the user or the name of the level the name of the bandit level to make it easier for him he's just entering or the user is just entering the bandit level and then we're gonna read read which takes a value from the command line uh, and inputs it and in, it's inputs the value into a variable so we're gonna we're gonna read something called user right so now we have user so we're gonna create a variable to store something on it we're gonna call this variable command 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 is equal to we're gonna just put a single quote or just one single quote um, we're gonna say uh, curly brackets dollar sign user and then another curly bracket so we're entering all right so we took the variable here from the command line the user entered uh, the level of the name so we took it in as user now we're gonna use it so bracket curly brackets because we're gonna enter here the uh, bandit labs dot over the wire dot org all right so this is just gonna make sense in a moment guys so we're gonna just copy this here all right so we want to ssh all right at bandit whatever so at port 2220 so what i wrote here is that the user will enter a variable called user it will be the bandit level and then we're going to take this bandit uh, variable and use it here with the correct syntax at bandit.labs over the wire and automatically ssh on port 2220 so this is gonna make our lives easier supposedly um now we're gonna take in a command called sleep sleep2 or before sleeping we want to say echo thank you dear sir all right and then we're gonna sleep for two seconds to make sure sleep is just like stopping everything that's happening here for two seconds and he to to make the user read so thank you dear sir and then he is gonna sleep so he can make sure everything is correct and then we're gonna eval which is stands for evaluate um, and then we're going to use dollar sign because this is a variable we're using and we're going to say command so eval will make the command run in a shell will make it basically run as a command it literally states that so 
eval will make this line run, uh, run as a line of code. So ssh user bandit over the wire dot org dash p two 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 zero. All right. Now we're going to try out uh, our code for proof of concept. So we're going to say chmod plus x and we're gonna chmod is basically change mod plus x is add executable so to make our script run as executable and we're just gonna type in login which I renamed it to loginer because it seems nicer loginer.sh now ls we've got loginer SS, uh, sh here is green and we're just gonna type in dot forward slash loginer dot sh to run the script so we're gonna press yes please enter the user eg user at host um, let's enter in bandit zero enter thanks see ya I changed it now we're going to enter the levels password which is bandit zero and we're gonna press enter all right I wrote it wrong I don't know how bandit zero oh here we go <laughs> I don't know what happened in the first time I, I thought I messed something up in the bash script but here we go and it's the same level proof of concept ls cat read me here we go so um, this was a really nice bash script to write so let's just exit and gedit loginer so this was a really nice bash script to make our lives easier and in the series we're gonna tackle the bandit levels we're gonna use this script a lot so uh, please make sure you get the script right and if you have any questions please leave them at the comments if you don't understand anything in this simple bash script please leave it in the comments and i'll be doing a whole series about um bash scripting me and michael so i hope you guys uh have a good time and see you guys on the next video bye